Okay, so I'm gonna shoot a little video here. We just had a snow apocalypse this weekend, so I've been out pretty much all day yesterday snow blowing, and I just did a little bit of cleanup now. But um, I shot this video a couple times to explain that right there, and I'm gonna try to redo it here. But um, from the factory, if you order this heavy duty snow blower with a front European three point, um, these hoses that come way up here to your chute rotate just have a coupling. This hose right here is just butt connected to this hose right here. Um, that's fine and dandy, but every time you want to drop the snowblower off, you have to fish these hydraulic lines through all these holes and back up into there to disconnect it. And with the cab on, you know, it's a little comp comp compact down there to uh, get to them. So what I did is I went to a local hydraulic shop and said, we took a little bit of time and laid all these fittings out on the ground and went with disconnects up here to a bulkhead fitting to the hoses. But um, just the way the type of hoses these are, the bulkhead fittings that are available out there and the type of cork couplers these are, um, this is all Parker stuff, but you had to do a little bit of adapting. So we have an adapter here and then we also have another adapter right here. So it is a little, convoluted but it does work nice and there actually has an adapter here too so you got oh no that's the coupler coupler sorry adapter there's two adapters um the couplings and a bulkhead connector but i do really like this because you can real simply pop these hydraulic lines right here and unhook your snowblower real simply by pulling your pin up here and dropping it down um there is enough slack in these hoses they don't bind up nice they're kept out of the way you also don't have these rubbing on the cylinder or rubbing up against the tractor. Um, what I did is I did zip tie them up here, but um, one of the other things you'll need is this brush guard. They claim you cannot put this brush guard on with the front three-point hitch, which is true. You can't put it on without modifying this brush guard. Um, if you try to put it on, it'll actually interfere with this hydraulic cylinder. And if you can see what I did is I just took the uh, torch plasma cutter and just cut around that cylinder and notched out my uh, brush guard. There is only about eh, an inch, inch of material here, but the other side is fully intact. This is still more than solid enough. Um, and the holes are already in this brush guard. so. There are holes, sorry for the soot. Like I said, I've been out blowing, but uh, these are the holes for the brush guard. As I draw on the soot here, you can actually see where that brush guard sits a little bit better. But um, yeah, it does fit on there. And it fits perfectly on here. But like I said, right around here on the other side, maybe you can see a little bit better from here. Oh yeah, let me slip my phone in here. You can see where I notched it out to fit around that cylinder and it works out quite nice. Um, if you notch it out, in order to get the brush guard on, you do have to pull the cylinder off, which is real simple because there's a coupler, or uh, not a coupler, uh, snap pin right there. So it isn't a bad thing to do. And uh, like I said, I really like that. And for the bracket for the bulkhead, all I did is took a two inch piece of angle iron, drilled two holes in it. I also picked up a Deutsch connector for my electrical to my electric chute actuate up here. But um, all that is is just a two inch by two inch piece of angle iron that I drilled two holes through the brush guard and just bolted it on. So it does work out really nice. I'm more, I just got snowed on. I'm quite, uh, quite happy with the way that works out. And my plan is to get the 60 inch broom for this tractor yet and I wanted to be able to swap between the broom and the blower quickly and I don't want to have to fish them lines out all the time. So this way it'll allow me to drop this down, come out here, pop the PTO shaft, pop the pin, pop the hydraulic connectors right from this side and hook onto the broom real simply without having to fish them out every time. And um, my Deutsch connector down here, these are the nice Deutsch connectors. I did get one with eight pins in it just because if I want to add anything in the future, I have the extra pins to do it, or if I want to build any custom attachments for up here, I have extra pins 
into this plug. So that's the only reason why I did that. You could get away with just a simple two plug here, spade connectors, whatever you want. Um, but like I said, this way if I ever build anything different for the front, I have the option to wire it in right away. But there's my little quick rant on my John Deere 1025R and that hydraulic hose setup. I will link all the Parker part numbers down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. Um, you'll have to find your local Parker dealer or find them online to order them. But um, yeah, there's that. And if you're in Wisconsin, um, if you're in Wisconsin and you're in the Appleton, Green Bay, Oshkosh, Two Rivers area, um, New London, kind of around that area. Um, Clink Hydraulics out of, I'm gonna mess this up. I don't know who they are, I don't know where they are, but I'll throw in a picture of their business card right here. They are really good, they're actually the hydraulic shop that I stopped at to find all them fittings. And um, yeah, give them guys a call and I'm sure they'll send them to you too if you're in Wisconsin or somewhere around. But there you guys go. And uh, thank you for watching. And as always, be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. There will be plenty of more snow blowing videos coming. Like I said, I was out pretty much all day yesterday. And um, I just went out and finished doing a little bit of touch up. But there are a couple of more snow blowing videos coming. And uh, you guys all have a nice day. And be sure to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. And if you like this video, be sure to share it. See ya.